And it's not pollution that we've been seeing here in the Ohio Valley. We've actually been seeing actual fog out there. In addition to the fog, we're starting to see some downpours out there as well, up around the Salina area and also to the south across Eaton and over towards Richmond. On Live Doppler 2 HD, you can see here some light to moderate showers uh, southward around uh, just around Hamilton and Oxford and Summers. And as we work our way northward here up around the Salina area and also around Blue Creek, but many locations throughout the day and the evening have generally just seen light rain and drizzle. As we take a look here, clouds have been in the vicinity throughout the entire day. Dense fog has been a problem through the evening hours, and you can see here scattered showers to our west. Earlier, though, this evening, there were some rumbles of thunder across portions of Indiana. Most of the thunderstorm activity has now quieted down, and the bulk of the rain is currently passing off towards our north, even though there are still some scattered showers just to our west. Rainfall amounts we're expecting in the next 24 hours around a half an inch or so in many locations as the rain continues to work its way through the area. The bulk of the rain, though, is actually going to pass to the north and also to our southeast as the storm system moves across southeastern Ohio by tomorrow. As we take a look here out in Troy through the evening, watch as the clouds work their way in and the fog settles across Troy here and we lose our visibility and also some areas of light rain and drizzle as well. So your weather headlines for tonight, dense fog and areas of rain. Tomorrow we're looking at scattered showers and then the Arctic blast works its way through on Wednesday. Currently outside, 50 degrees, southeast winds at 8 miles an hour, humidity is at 100 percent, pressures at 29.91 inches. Temperatures are mild across the area, 51 in Fairborn, 53 in Miamisburg, and 50 degrees up in Vandalia. Weather checkers coming in with 48 in New Carlisle, 53 in Springboro, and 51 in Xenia. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast for tomorrow, we're looking at a lot of clouds, periods of showers, and we'll see some dry periods come tomorrow afternoon, and then tomorrow night we could still look at some more showers working their way through. Future tracks showing that surge of moisture mainly during the overnight hours, and it will also affect morning rush hour between dense fog and rain. Could be kind of slick out there and also some slow traffic and just cause some delays as everybody heads back to work after the holidays. Tonight, temperatures pretty much holding steady, cooler to the north, warmer to the south, 52 in Cincinnati, 44 in Lima, and then tomorrow we'll see temperatures really not going too far from where they are overnight. About 52 here in Dayton, around 60 degrees in Cincinnati. So tonight, temperatures pretty much holding steady, areas of fog, areas also of rain overnight, 48 degrees for the overnight low. Then tomorrow, 52 degrees, morning fog, scattered showers throughout the day, and then tomorrow night we'll be looking at still a chance for a few more showers, but then Wednesday, things turn colder. 30 degrees on Wednesday, chance of snow showers on Thursday as an Arctic front will push through and reinforce the cold air on Thursday with an area disturbed weather. And then um, we will be looking at temperatures in the 20s for the upcoming weekend.